No, I'm gonna go Technic. I already are a B10 Spider. There's double wishbone, independent suspension, and all wheels, but there's pretty much no travel. Probably just the body work you're spending. There's camber angle on all four wheels. You can see the wishbone, bottom wishbone, and the top one too. And at the back there's wishbone as well. Each wheel has two shocks, plus the rubber band and torsion bars. Doors. Each door has a lock that can be that it automatically locks and opens with the handle. And it are spring loaded. And the working parking brake. Here is the parking brake working. The light gray gear is adjustable forward and backward using a small linear actuator. And all the way forward. And it can go back. I'm quite pleased with the interior. The glove box here opens. The speed indicator for the gearbox back here. Working gas and brake pedals, working steering wheel. Nice enough. Pneumatic switches. You probably can't see them. They're very pretty open. And you can open the rear lid here. And there's a bit of a trunk stand. It's a little hard to open. There we go. It also opens when the convertible roof goes up, but it can also be done manually. And there's a little lock to hold it down. This here. Power supply can be turned on by pressing the hood. There's some pneumatic functions driven by a L motor powered compressor near the floor that can be turned on by flipping a small concealed switch here. Here is the compressor will The hood can be opened pneumatically by flipping a switch back there. This is kind of slow. There it goes. To get the convertible roof to work, you need to take these two things out here, then go back here and take out these material pieces. They're there to make it look better when it's not being used, so these pieces have to go in here to allow the support for the convertible roof to fit. So, these also have a storage place under the hood, under the front, that's what they call it. Okay, now the hood can go down pneumatically as well. Also a rear differential lock. You can barely see it, but under the motor there, there's a light gray transmission driving ring. And it will go out and back. And it's controlled pneumatically. Front wheels can be steered using a power function servo motor. There's caster angle, um, Ackerman, Ackerman steering geometry, and kingpin inclination. The steering wheel also works. The windshield wipers are also fully functional, controlled by a power function's medium motor. They're very fast, but if I use the speed controller I'm out, I can get them to a more reasonable pace. Here's a better view of the windshield wiper mechanism. There is adjustable suspension controlled by two large motors, one in the front, one in the back, through a worm gear. So you can see it functioning there. Pressing down the top of that light gray shock. It's actually a hard shock. But I like having the very hot. The back you can see the shock of the moving as well. Convertible roof is also functional and powered by a power function large motor. So in order for it to work, we have to make sure we have the cutouts here and that we have it manually unlocked. Now Now you can see it's a little bit up here, which is unfortunate, but I can take a pin from storage there and plug it in there in order to keep it down so it looks a bit better. The rear spoiler is also functional and powered by a power function movie motor and two small linear actors. I also have this string attached to it, and when it gets high enough it'll get taut and then cause it to start tilting. There are disc brakes on all four wheels using the new discs from the Bugatti Chiron. 
So, if I buy a power from the medium armor, it should tighten a little. Also a working air brake on the spoiler. And it may be hard to see, but the brake pedal there does work a bit. Here's the braking mechanism in a bit more detail. The motor, there's the linear actuator which pulls this whole assembly down. These things here are pulled pull some string around a curve up to here that pulls the caliper down. At the same time it pulls the two strings back here that then curve and pull the caliper or the yeah, the caliper in. The string here goes up to pull the spoiler down. So powered by this power functions XL motor and it has seven gears plus reverse and the dual clutch design. I'm gonna remove the engine here for clarity. Most of it isn't available here. I'll have to take a better video later. Speed indicator in the back of the cab. So reverse, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and back to reverse. There's a working gas pedal. This is the new power function trailer motor. And also a working V10 system in the back. First. Now a little bit more perceptibly. The real thing is almost imperceptible. But it is staying. I hope you can proceed with this. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. It clicks a fair bit, and I'll admit it doesn't really work at all driving forward for some reason, but I guess it's good enough. Here's my windshield wipe on my mechanism. Here's my latest 7 plus reverse dual clutch sequential gearbox. And this is the input here for shifting. So it shifts the top clutches and simultaneously shifts ones below it. So it's like this this input is on and the corresponding output is on. Same on the other side. So for every as it turns, it'll these other side gearboxes. So it cycles through one, two, three, four here and reverse two one, two, three here. The ratios are the same there, but because the two clutches have different ratios, because here it's got sixteen to twenty rather than sixteen to sixteen, going to the output here. It can, it can shift by switching between these, even when these are on the same gear. I hope that makes sense. So it goes from, they're both on like the lowest ratio, and then it goes low, high, second lowest, low, high, so third lowest, low, high, high, fastest, low, high. Of course, the slowest over here is reverse. But. And reverse is achieved by using these extra 22 spears between those two spears in order to keep them going the opposite direction as they would if they normally meshed. These over here are the steppers. For some reason, this side seems to work better with square plates than what I used on the other side. So, that's the gear. Over
overall, I think this is my best super car ever. It has pretty much all the functions I like to put in. Fancy gearbox. It drives pretty well. And then things like the convertible roof and the windshield wiper that are really satisfying. Really cool to see.